I'm Sarah Peterson and welcome to The Sun Focus Today. Today's top story comes to us from Columbia Heights. A senior living facility in Columbia Heights opened its doors yesterday for a grand opening. The Lighthouse of Columbia Heights on Hart Boulevard, constructed by New Perspective Senior Living, consists of 45 assisted living units and 38 memory care units. Lighthouse of Columbia Heights staff greeted people from area communities on November 12th for an event that included a ribbon cutting ceremony with the Twin Cities North Chamber of Commerce, tours, and refreshments. The senior living facility offers studios, one bedroom, and two bedroom apartments that range in price depending on apartment type and care level. Some amenities include a theater room, a library, a game room with a pool table, shuffleboard, and card tables, and an enclosed outdoor patio. More than 60% of the facility is occupied, and residents will begin moving in today, November 13th. Reservations are still being accepted. For more information, call or visit online. The play Little Women, an adaptation of the classic novel by Louisa May Elcott, opens at St. Anthony Village High School this weekend. Set during the Civil War, the play centers on four young sisters and their mother who try to keep the family going while their father is away at war. Performances are scheduled for 7.30 p.m. November 13th and 14th and 2 p.m. November 15th in the St. Anthony Village High School Auditorium. Tickets, which cost $5 for adults and $3 for students and seniors, can be purchased at the door. Shoppers looking for more sales and bazaars are in luck. There are several sales on Saturday within just a short drive. First Lutheran Church in Columbia Heights will have a Christmas Bazaar from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Handmade items will be for sale and demonstrations will be given on how to make lepsa and crumb cake. Two raffles will be held for handmade quilts and lunch and coffee will be available. Sunrise United Methodist Church in Moundsview will host a Country Hoedown Fall Bazaar from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. The event will include crafts, a bake sale, grandma's attic, and raffles for a quilt and a quilt cabinet. Rolls and coffee will be available from 9 a.m. to 11 p.m. and lunch will be available from 11 to 1. The St. Maron Catholic Church will hold their annual bake sale from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. on Saturday. And if you can't make it on Saturday, this sale also runs on Sunday from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. The sale will feature Lebanese pastries, bread, and more. This weekend also holds plenty of opportunities for music lovers to attend concerts. On Saturday, the Northern Lights Chorale will perform with Maple Grove Senior High's Crimson Chorale. The concert begins at 7 p.m. and will be held at the high school. The concert will feature styles ranging from classical to pop. On Sunday, you'll have to choose between two concerts, each starting at 3 p.m. At the Church of St. William and Fridley, the Northeast Orchestra will perform their season opening concert. Admission is free to this concert, called Such Sweet Music. And at the St. Anthony Community Center, the St. Anthony Civic Orchestra will perform its fall concert. The concert will feature music by Beethoven, Drigo, and Dvorak. Admission is free. For more about these and other stories from The Sun Focus, visit our website at www.mnsun.com. For The Sun Focus today, I'm Sarah Peterson. Have a good weekend, and we'll see you on Monday.